are getting full on into the pumpkin season today with these vegan pumpkin pancakes. Shout out to Toxo Death for requesting the recipe on the channel. And if you have a special recipe that you would like to see on the Vegan Petite channel, be sure to comment below. But for now, let's get started. We're gonna start by creating our buttermilk base. So get some kind of plain non-dairy milk. I'm using oat milk today. And we're gonna do one cup. That should, is that one cup? Oh my gosh, I'm looking at the wrong side. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. I was like, that does not look like one cup. There we go. Be sure to check the measurement system on your measuring cup. And then to that, we are going to add one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. This is going to add a little bit of tanginess to our um, pancake batter. But don't worry, it's not gonna taste vinegary. It's gonna be more like a buttermilk. And we're just gonna stir that and set it aside while we make the rest of the ingredients. And this should thicken up the oat milk a little bit and make it like a buttermilk. Okay, now we are going to start with our dry ingredients. So we're gonna get one cup of all-purpose flour and add that to a large bowl. And now, oh gosh. <laughs> now we're gonna add a tablespoon of baking powder. Yes, you heard me correctly. We're gonna do a tablespoon because that's what's gonna um, really make these pancakes rise and make them nice and fluffy. Now to our dry ingredients, we are going to add some lovely pumpkin pie spices. So we're going to add half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Okay. We're gonna do an eighth teaspoon of ground ginger. So here I have a quarter teaspoon measure, but just about half of that. All right, give it a little spice. And then we're gonna add a nice healthy pinch of ground cloves and also a pinch of ground nutmeg. Now we wanna actually balance this out and bring out the sweetness. So to do that, kind of counterintuitive, but we're gonna add a quarter teaspoon of salt. And now we're just going to whisk all of these ingredients together. Now to our buttermilk mix, we are going to add the rest of the liquid ingredients. So we're going to add half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, as well as two tablespoons of maple syrup for sweetness. There's one. And two, and give that a little stir. All right, so now we are going to combine the wet ingredients with the dry ingredients. So what you wanna do, you want to make a little hole in the middle of your dry ingredients, kind of like that. And then we're just gonna pour this into the well. and whisk it all together. All right, now that the batter is nicely incorporated, we're gonna add our main ingredient. We're gonna get some canned pumpkin or pumpkin puree if you have some at home. And we're gonna scoop out a third cup of your pumpkin puree and add that into the batter. And then you're just gonna gently whisk that in. You don't wanna over mix this batter because we don't wanna pop all the bubbles from the baking powder 
um, and that apple cider vinegar that helps activate it. But this is just gonna add our pumpkin flavor and a nice little orange color too. It's very festive. All right, now you're gonna wanna get a nonstick pan nice and hot over medium heat. And the way we test if it's ready to go, we're gonna just sprinkle a few little drops of water. And if you hear them sizzle right away upon hitting the pan and they kinda dance around like that, then you know your pan is hot enough. In fact, this particular pan gets a little extra hot. This is the Forge and Fire nonstick pan. Um, so I might end up having to turn it down, but um, you know your particular pan best. So use your best judgment on that. Now we're gonna scoop out our pumpkin batter to make the pancakes. I'm gonna do a third cup size. This is gonna make six medium-sized pancakes. If you want large pancakes, then you can use a half cup scoop and that will make four. So let's go in with a third cup of batter and just pour it right into the center of your pan. Got a little chunks of pumpkin there. Yeah. Ooh, that smells good. Yeah, we can smell the cinnamon already. And I don't usually flatten it out too much because I like my pumpkin pancakes to be a little bit on the thicker side, but um, if you don't like them that thick, then you can spread out the batter a little more. So I'm just gonna let that sit there. I'm gonna wait to see some more bubbles. You can see there's already some starting to form. We're gonna give that um, a minute or two on the first side, and then I'll show you how to flip it. Okay, it's been about a minute, minute and a half, and you can see when you make these small and they're only one third cup of batter, they're a lot easier to manage. I'm just trying to pop that little, there, <laughs> put it all together. Um, so you can see the edges of the pancake are starting to get dry. We have a few bubbles. You can always sneak a little peek underneath. So now you want to slide the spatula underneath and kind of tilt the pan so that way it doesn't splatter all over the place. So on three, one, two, three. Not too bad, right? Our pancake has been cooking for about a minute on the second side. And one thing, I don't suggest pressing too much on these pancakes, um, just because we want to keep it nice and thick and fluffy. So we're just gonna peek at the bottom. And you can see this pan is so great. I didn't even have to add any butter or oil whatsoever and it did not stick whatsoever. Can Again, see the other side? Yeah, let's take a little peek. Okay. Yeah, and we can smell that cinnamon flavor as well coming through. Um, so you're gonna just repeat this with your third cup or half cup batter measures, but stick around because I do have a special little variation on this coming right up. All right, let's take a look at our pancakes. We have our stack of three original vegan pumpkin pancakes, and these are our chocolate chip variation. I've just added a little pat of vegan butter on both of these. And now we are going to drizzle on our maple syrup. Now, if you want an extra little tip, get yourself a shot glass, fill it with maple syrup, and you can dip your pieces of pancake into the maple syrup, so it's extra maple-y. And now for our chocolate chip pancakes over here, just a little extra decadence. We're gonna drizzle on some chocolate syrup. This is optional but I think it adds an extra little, little something special. Ooh. And we can just top it off with a few extra little chocolate chips. And now it's ready to serve. Here we have our lovely vegan pumpkin pancakes. 
I'm gonna start with the original one over here. So we're just gonna dig into this little stack, get some of that vegan butter. I'm gonna try it as is first without the extra maple syrup just to get a baseline. Wow, that extra little touch of vegan butter really, really adds something to it. Really get that cinnamon flavor coming through and the other pumpkin pie spices as well. So now we're gonna take this, see this guy right here? We're gonna dunk it into this shot glass of maple syrup. Here we go. That's the way to do it right there. <laughs> oh man, I think I'm converted into a dipping person now. <laughs> yeah, whoever well, thought of this. I heard some lady at the, the post office talking about dipping her waffles in a little thing of syrup. I was like, hmm, that's a good idea. All right, now we're gonna tackle this um, chocolate mess over here. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Do you, is this a good enough angle, or do you wanna you want me to turn it around? That's fine. All right. Here we go. Oh, and the chocolate chips are starting to melt a little bit too. That's nice. Mmm. Okay, let's see if you can get a cross section of this. You see, like chocolate chips in there. I'll turn the plate around for you yeah, too. Yeah, got it. Sweet. Here it goes. Oh my god, this is a huge bite. Here we go. Just take a, a smaller bite. Alright. <laughs> mmm! Yeah. Mm hmm. Is it good with the maple syrup? Yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry, I was like, it's all sticky in my mouth. <laughs> so this one, I can't say I taste the pumpkin spices as much. It's really the chocolate chips that have taken over <laughs> this whole shebang, but hey, if you like chocolate, then this, this is right up your alley right there. It's probably a little hint of pumpkin. Yeah, a little, little hint in there. Mm-hmm. All right, yeah, let's, uh, let's get a cross section there with those pancakes, the original. Okay. This one with the chocolate is pretty sweet. If you're not, if you don't want it too sweet, I would maybe say put less chocolate chips in the batter and maybe like omit the chocolate sauce, but. I like it sweet. Yeah, I know. I know you do. We've got some chocoholics in this family, but Comment below, which version of these vegan pumpkin pancakes are you gonna try? Are you gonna make the original with the maple syrup Duncan hack or chocolate chip? Let me know in the comments, smash the like button and subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that good stuff. And I will see you next week. Peace.